Hello everyone, I'm back here joined by Sherry List, who's the Azure Developer Technical Lead at Microsoft. It's good to have you here. How are you feeling? You good. Happy? Thank yes. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this conference. Yeah. Especially that I love that figurine that oh, I got. You like the gift? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I actually saw your tweet about it. Yeah, we, yeah, that's amazing. All right, so let's talk about what you do at Microsoft. Can you tell us a bit more about your role? Uh, yes, at Microsoft, uh, at the moment, I'm working in the marketing department and my role is that mostly to analyze the, the developer market and then find out that what are the things that they need to learn. I listen to them, I go to different events, I listen to them and find out that what is needed in the market and then we are bringing back all of those feedback and trying to make the content ready for the, our next events to make sure that it's actually it's the one that they really need to learn, want to learn. That sounds so fun. So you're everywhere, like all the time, right? You go to so many different events. Yes. Yeah. And we are so organizing the events. Also event. organizing. Wow, yeah. that's such a great job. All right. So let's focus on your talk. You talked about cognitive services, yes. right? Can you tell me a bit more about what you talked today? What was the talk about? Um, so in my talk, um, I, I, I actually I found out that a lot of developers they are. Uh, kind of they're a little bit confused at what is AI, what is ML, and what is all of these different abbreviations A and N. And what I did that I started by going one step back trying to create a big picture in the mind that what are all of these things, what is the relationship of that. And then step by step uh, we found out that okay you can do all of these things on your own, try to train the model and then go back and then gather the information. You can do it on your own or you can just use Azure Cognitive, cognitive Services and we should also do all of that for you. And then I had a small demo that I made it with native script mm -hmm. and um, in that way actually I also took a picture of the audience and analyzed their, freak, uh, their feeling and then tried to see that is it a good feedback for my talk or not. <laughs> so the feedback was good? Yes, and we found one unicorn in the room as well. You found one unicorn? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So now, can you tell me some examples of like how you actually use that, how you use cognitive ser services? Uh, yeah, there is actually, we have, um, we have a website called AI.Lab mm -hmm. and then there you can see the different examples of the project that even the people did it in community. You can even be a contributor and submit your own nice. project as well. And then one of the interesting one is that the JFK files and some people they use uh, Azure Search uh, cognitive services and then with that you could have a really good analysis way by that um, actually inside the JFK files and there is another one that I like it so much which is a sketch to code and then for a person like me as a front-end developer I was always thinking that so does it mean that soon in future <laughs> there is no need for a person like me because you can that sketch to code is totally make it and uh, make it into a mock-up for you which is really interesting. That's amazing, we have to check that website. Yeah. So can you maybe, we should maybe talk about the future. So where do you think um, this whole AI, artificial intelligence, cognitive services, where do you think it will go? One of them was that ink recognizer that, uh, that you can just read a handwritten form and it make the text in a searchable text for you. Mm -hmm. And also it can recognize if it was a square, if it was a, uh, or if it was a circle, it recognized all of those things. And also form recognizer. And that form recognizer can upload the PDF and it returns you a key value with also a kind of a customized result for you as well. So there are a lot of new things coming on. I guess you can really, with this pace, you cannot predict what will happen even in so a month. So it's changing every day, right? Yeah, so much and really fast. And do you think, do you know if uh, the, these services, these cognitive services are already applied in some industries in like real life or do you think it will be useful in the future or is it already no, happening? No, it's, it's already happening. It's already happening. I, um, I know that uh, there was a startup in Finland, mm -hmm. if I remember right, that they combined these um, cognitive services with IoT and then they can detect if there is a leak in pipe which is pretty yeah, interesting. interesting. If you have a really big building, yeah. and you can just find out where it was exactly the part that it was there. So there are a lot of the people are already adopting them. So there's a lot of possibilities as yes, well. Yes. Okay, right. So thank you so much for your talk, first of all, and for joining us here and being here and like having, uh, just giving us your time asking, uh, answering these questions. It was a pleasure having you here. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm really enjoying everything. Thank you. We're glad. Thanks.